Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I'm working on a couple of uh, Cisco um, Aeronet 1240s, uh, some access points, wireless access points, and I wanted to see, um, again, this is uh, not going to be a big surprise for most people, if their HTTP logins are in clear text or not. So here we go. We're going to give it a try. I'm doing this over Wi-Fi, so here's my Wi-Fi adapter. And what I'm going to do is just double click on it, something relatively new with 1.8. And there I can see there's my Wi-Fi adapter, there's the IP address. Over here I've got a capture filter for the IP address of the access point, 1.2. So I'm going to go OK on that. And I'm just going to simply start a capture. So now, over here, I'm going to go to my web browser. I'm going to press Enter. And here I'm going to type in the default Cisco Cisco. Okay. And there we are. We're logged in. So now I'm going to come over here and stop. The hardest thing to do when we go through these exercises is where's the password? How do we know where the password is? Well, the big telltale sign in most cases is you look for a delay because the human being has to type. So you can see a 37 millisecond delay. That's obviously not a human being. And on the right hand side, you'll see it's a TCP SYN, it's a connection request. So it's being set up. So if we come down here, we see a six-second delay, and that's probably a little more likely um, that there was a delay here. And we can see there's a get command further down. So I would probably go fishing around here. I'm going to show you something else in a few more seconds on how we could find it quicker, but we'll do it longhand first. And open up the HTTP packet, and there we can see there's a get, and there's some authorization basic stuff. And you'll say, "Ooh, it's encrypted! Yippee!" And it is not. It is well. It is not in clear text. So that is true. But if I hit the little plus sign, there you go. Um, Wireshark will decode this stuff to this stuff, just to not get into all the technical stuff behind it, but that's pretty well it. So it is um, it is not in clear text. And you can see there's the login, there's the password, uh, but Wireshark allows you to decrypt it. And there you go. Have a good day. Bye for now. I mentioned earlier that I was going to show you a shortcut on how to find these passwords without digging through these packets. And it's to basically uh, search for some text in the detail uh, pane here. You can either search for credentials, authorization. Um, these keywords uh, can be searched. So if I was to go all the way back up to uh, packet 1, and I'll just search, control F, and if I type uh, credentials, you don't have to type it all. You'll see that it's uh, salmon or pink, but uh, we'll hit the string button now it's green, and we're going to search in the details. Now when we do that, click find, and bang, there it is. So you don't need to go fishing through all these packets if you had thousands or hundreds or millions. Uh, you could easily search through them uh, by using that little tip. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.